guys, what's up? And welcome to part four to the new giant fish. Now, we're going to be starting off with the new Oscar. And luckily, I believe he is a male. And if you don't know much about Oscars, they tend to kill each other and fight a lot if they are both the same sex. It doesn't matter if it's a male or female, they will fight. And I believe he's a male and mine is a female. And I will tell you why. If you look at their heads, he has a much more pronounced hump than my Oscar. And he's much more girthier than my Oscar. Like if you look at him dead on, he has much more uh, girth. So I feel like I got very lucky. I put him in the tank. At first my Oscar came up to him. You know, Kai is showing uh, its dominance. But eventually they ended up pairing up and that was really great because it can be very hard to get two uh, more gr grown Oscars to pair up. Especially because you don't know what sex they will be because sexing an Oscar is very hard. You gotta put them in a very stressful procedure you gotta take them out of the tank and do all this kind of like stuff uh, down uh, where they poop and stuff and I did not want to do that because like I said it's very stressful on the fish plus I don't really know how to but I feel like I got very lucky I got a very nice pair here I got a normal red Oscar and an albino red Oscar and in the future when they are more grown and they can have uh, babies I would love to breed them see what uh, I'll get I'll probably get a lot of red Oscars but yeah that's what's been going on with the new Oscar also when I got him the guy said that his name was Rusty so that's his name Rusty and I'm actually really liking Rusty at first, I never really liked normal Oscars. I didn't like how they had that black and orange. I just never felt like it went real well together. But now having one and seeing the more orange body and like black on top, I actually like that a, a lot, just like with my Oscar. But that's really it on the Oscars. So hopefully in the future I'll be able to breed them. Moving on to the Red Terror. Now the guy said that this Red Terror was a female. So in the future I might get a r male Red Terror and breed those. Which I think will be very cool. And for those of you who have Red Terrors, you know that they have stripes on the side of their body. Green stripes. Well, for some reason, and the guy said it was always like this, it never had those green stripes which I actually really like because I like some unique fish some color more set uh, variate from the original and what they're supposed to have I really do like that and if you notice the top fin that they have had that one has like a little big actually a big bite taken out of it that is how I got them or I got that one at least. Uh, I believe it's healing very nicely. This has, and this uh, red terror has grown very accustomed to the tank. And that's really it on the red terror. Now, the bigger guy. This is a Vija or Vija cichlid. I'm not sure on the name it's one of those two I know that though and this is a new world cichlid and I won't lie out of all of them that I got he's actually my favorite and I don't know if the camera can do it justice but his scales are amazing and I just love the color pattern he has especially with the little black over his eyes if you can see that yeah now Sadly, he was pretty beat up when I got him, but he was in a tank all by himself, and he had a lot of nips taken out of him. As you can see on his top fin, he had a big bite taken out, and if you can, and you obviously can see on his 
Hey, buddy. Come on. On his back fin, there's a lot of damage there, too. That's sadly how I got him. I'm hoping that will heal uh, very well without medicine. I prefer not to use medicine, let it heal naturally. But just in case, and also you can see the bottom fin had some pretty nasty bites taken out of too. That is how I got him, sadly. But he's still one of my favorite fishing that I got. So, in a little bit of story on how I got them, uh, I got them from a guy down in Gettysburg. Did you see that? The pocket tried to bite my fingers through the glass. Whew. Gotta watch out for him in the future. But no, on with the story. Basically, I went down to Gettysburg, like an hour and a half drive for me, and I picked these guys up. I could have picked up another one, but I didn't like them that much, and I was already picking up a lot, especially to put in this tank. And he said he got them from a friend that just, they outgrew that tank and just that person couldn't keep them anymore which I understand and he was the only one with tanks big enough to keep them but then he didn't really want them he just took them in to uh, temporarily give them a home and he was trying to find a better one for him then I uh, posted something on Facebook he replied I went down there and I picked these guys up and ever since then I've been giving them the best home I can and I feel like this 125 is pretty good uh, compared to what they were in before, before I think they were like in 40 gallons or something like that. But no, so, these guys are all doing great. I've only had problems with one, and that was the green severum. He had ick, which I covered in my last video, I'm pretty sure. But, that's really it on what's been going on with this tank, except we have had a loss. And... You guys probably have looked into the tank and you're like, you probably already know, but yes, sadly, if you can see the missing one, it's the alligator gar. He, um, I can't completely understand what happened to him. I don't really know. This is only a guess here. Uh, I found no body around the tank. I looked behind the tank, I did not find anything, and because of that, I only had one guess at where maybe he could have gone. If we come over here, you'll notice this big guy, how big his head has and how big his body is. Well, I think he might have eaten the alligator gar. His head is big enough, his body is big enough to do it. So, even though they were in here for a good couple of months, what I think might have happened is the gear gar went down to the bottom to chill for a little while, and he came up on them and sadly got them. I'm not 100% sure on that, or maybe it was the other catfish, but he doesn't have as big, as, big of a head as him. So that's why I think it's more him. But yeah, sadly, we lost that little guy. And I'm really bummed out because I really, really like liked him. And when I got him, I got him from my local pet store. I know these guys really well. I've been going there for about a year now. We know each other by name. And they handpicked them out for me. And they gave me a pretty good uh, price on them. They should have sold him for a lot more than what they sold him for me. But, uh, yeah, they just gave me a really great deal. And I re feel really bummed for both losing him and, uh, yeah, it's basically it's really bumped me out. However, though, I've been chatting with this other guy online who's uh, trying to find a good home for his two alligator gar. And if he lives somewhere close to me, I might end up going to get those guys. Now, if I do, there will be some major fish moving because 
these will not get eaten. If anything, they will eat other fish because these are big ones. This is like a, or they're going to be like an 18 and a 22 inch one. They aren't very thick bodied, so uh, if I get a look at them, I might be able to just put them right in the tank and I'll just take a couple fish out rather than taking out ones that I think could possibly be food. Like the Jack Dempsey down here and that Red Terror probably could end up being food. Everything else I think probably wouldn't be. But if I think the Red Terror and Jack Dempsey are fine, the ones that will be taken out are the Golden Catfish and the Black Shark. And I might either way take out one of the Jack Dempsey or the Red Terror or maybe even the Panda. I might take him out. Uh, I don't know yet. That's still maybe. But basically that is all that's been going on right now with the tanks and with possible new fish. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next video will probably be like a care guide or maybe an update on those alligator gar, something like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.